You never know what you will find Shaping a world that's in your mind See for yourself There's a button, there's a button called, uh, there's a beep button, and it doesn't mean like call creeper or whatever, it's, um, it's, it, you press shift, and you can walk, you'll crouch, a, you'll see you crouch a little bit like this, and you'll walk slowly, and you can't fall off or anything, okay, no matter how much you're hanging over, you won't fall off, as long as you hold the button down, but if you let go, and you're all the way over at the edge, you will fall off, and, uh, make a mistake by doing that, so be very careful with that. But the shift button, oh, so useful. Because it's just, it is, it just is. And I am surprised at how much clay we found there. Man, that was really cool. Alright, this looks like it was it. At least we're getting close. It looks something like, oh, <coughs> that hurt. Now what I need to know is, did I get that? I do not know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember that, but I don't remember it. Where did I see it? Ah, uh, I'm gonna look up there. It's probably up there. It's probably how dim-witted I am. I know the clay was here. That's the clay spot now. And there's rocks. Yeah, I'm, I'm still. I'm gonna take one of these cacti. If you break the bottom piece of a cacti, all three fall over. The cacti cannot float, and the cactus cannot grow with something. And it cannot exist with something right next to it. <clears throat> anyway, I don't I don't remember what I was doing. I was looking for iron. Where did that sun go? Oh, it's setting. Alright, let's see if we can quickly quickly find it. Our house is pretty close by, so we don't have a problem there. Tough part is just um No, I think it was this way. But much further this or farther this way than we went in during the day. You know, you can actually survive a couple minutes out here. I mean, you're not guaranteed dead when you come out here. It's just... And see, there's the moon poking this little head out. Nothing. Eh, I can't find it. Alright. I'm going to bravely go home with my sword in hand. I don't know where it went. I mean, I could have sworn it was here. Anyway, let's hope we can get home safely. Monsters should spawn in about... Oh, about ten seconds. I don't know, but it's a good assumption. <coughs> oh, out. I hope I got pig meat that I can cook when I get home. Where's home? Home's over here. Okay, that's a sheep. Dirt. Home. Should put a torch out here for next time. Just like that. There. I'm safe, but... Still don't know where that iron went. Oh well. Okay, so let's check out what we got here. We have two complete stacks of clay. I am shocked and amazed at that. And I'm pretty sure... Oh! Oh! That's so cool. So we can make a clay block. So, in a way, we can just move it. Oh, in case you're wondering, it says 64 because it stops at 64. Like, all stacks in Minecraft stop at 64, and some even less, but most of them, the stacks only go to 64. Don't know why, but that's how it works. I'm just going to place a clay block here. Yeah, clay. Let's see what happens. Two, three, four. Yep. Well, that's really cool. <laughs> oh, that's pretty neat. I didn't know you could do that. Okay, but um, clay is pretty useless other than that. So what I'm going to do is make it useful. So I'm going to craft, in my crafting bench, I'm going to make a cobblestone oven. Actually, there, there's only one type of furnace, so I'm making just a furnace out of cobblestone. And I'm going to set it down in my house. It's like a little stove, and or, you know, an oven, and you can cook things in it. You can use coal, the... 28 coal that we have to cook things like like clay. So I'm gonna actually do one, two, three, four, five. Okay, six. Um, coal I think can cook eight things. One piece of coal can cook eight things. And wood you can use wood as well. Uh, I think it's one piece of wood to one anything you want to cook. And coal I think it goes eight. So I'm actually just gonna 
and put six in here. And I'm going to throw a whole stack in here. That should be good. Six times eight, that's, uh, well, it's not enough, but cook, it's cooking pretty quickly, so it may actually do more than eight. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know which way I want to expand, if I want to expand. I mean, I got a cool little house here. Don't really know where I want to go. Don't want to go up. But I want to find some iron. I think it's a good time to start digging downward. I'm just going to punch apart this and move it over there. Let's check on this. Yeah, I see four bricks. It's making bricks. So you put your burning material here. You put your material to be cooked here. And that's the result. And bricks can be stacked, so you don't have to worry about switching things out. I don't really know how I want to do this. Because um, building mine shafts are pretty cool. Because they just are. I'm going to use sticks. Or not sticks, ladders. I'm going to try to make ladders now. Take all of my wood. I'm going to need a lot of sticks. Just turn it all into sticks. Every single bit. I have one piece of wood left over. And what we can do with these sticks is make ladders. And ladders are in... Uh, this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, this shape. And it makes one ladder. So it's a lot of sticks for one ladder. So I can make ten from that. And I can make more, actually. Hang on. Yeah, I'll make one more. I'll save the rest of the sticks in case I uh, need to make more tools. In fact, I do. I need to make a stone pickaxe. I'm going to hold on that. Because you never know what you're going to run into down there. Anything from monsters to happiness and iron. And I'm going to do something similar to a setup I've seen in another YouTuber's channel. Make a little column of that right there. Yep. Okay. Yeah, there's a zombie. And you guys already heard that, but... Yeah, there's a zombie. He's probably outside. Most likely he's outside. So no worries there. He's obviously not inside. Nothing can come in. See, if you just keep your house nice and lit up, you shouldn't have a single problem. And now, another thing that we're kind of fortunate about, I mean, heck, we found a ton of a ton of um, coal. We've got a ton of clay. Um, but besides that, we're also on a cool little house. Or we have a cool little house that is cave-free. And why is that a good thing? Um, because, see, caves, they make sounds. Ugh, oh, I'm out of torches. Oh, that's why I need sticks for as well. Okay, I'll make two more sets of torches. I am skimping on the sticks. I shouldn't have made that many ladders. Kind of a big project for not enough wood, but oh well. So I'll just be skimping on the light here. It's just enough for me to see. And my, my pickaxe is used up. Yeah, see. Um, but caves, they make these sounds. Yeah, they're, they're just there to let you know they're there. It's like, you know, just, you know, an, an eerie crave sound, cave sound. But it can be kind of annoying. I built a house on top of a cave once, and it's there forever, unfortunately. So just drop back down. Yay. ladder every few and sticking a torch even fewer um yeah oh there we go check it out we got ourselves some iron that's great because iron is well it's a metal so and it's um better than stone tools <laughs> and i want to do one of the most curious things that you know minecraft players do is avoid digging out the iron for a little bit see iron is like the next step up so we had we, ha we started with wood tools then we got stone tools, and the next step is iron tools. Oh yeah, quite a bit of iron too. And I don't, that's just how it works. I mean, uh, and then after iron would come like uh, gold if you 
so chose to make golden tools, which most people just don't do that, and they use the iron tools to get diamond tools. Looks like there's only six here. Diamond tools are just, they're, they're the bomb. And, yep, all we got were six, six iron there, but that's actually great. Six is great, so you only need three to make a, another pickaxe, so not a problem there. Alright, so we got a bunch of iron, that's awesome. And actually, I'm going to go and dig a couple more layers down and go check up on my coal. Not my coal, <laughs> my clay. And I don't think I'm going to cook anymore because I don't want to run out. Oh, you know what? I was just going to say I didn't want to run out of coal. And then I, I strike coal right here in my cave. Now here's the thing. Uh, I'm not going to put it on the wall quite yet. I'll put it over there for now. Let's dig that out. Looks like we have a bit more back in here. Ooh, even more back in here. Ooh, even more. Coal usually comes in relatively large deposits. I think I've only found you know, a couple coal one time. Now, notice here, the coal is right next to dirt. There's kind of a rumor, and I don't know, if it's, I, I don't think it's fact, but there's it's kind of a rumor that um, good materials like coal, iron, gold, diamond, sometimes are around dirt. You just have to dig the dirt out. But the thing is, shovels can get used up so quickly, it's not even funny. And the reason I blocked all that off is because I want to keep the cave nice and straight down. But there's an ugly cobblestone block here, so you'll always know that it's there. Alright, I'm going to go check up on that clay. Yeah. I'm actually going to fix that cobblestone. See, see all this lovely smooth stone here? Yeah, yeah, really lovely. Well, the thing is, once you dig it out... Oh, look, it's daytime already. It turns out, once you dig it out, it actually becomes cobblestone. See, here's a nice smooth stone, and you get that. Lovely, isn't it? Well, that's what you get. You know what? It's day. I am going to do some exploring, and not really exploring. I'm going to leave this co this stuff here in case I die. I'm going to actually go see if I can grab that uh, ground. Whoa. I don't see anything at all. That's splashing to me. I'm just holding down the space bar. Alright, well, it looks like we're in the clear for now. I'm actually going to try to get some um, sand. Because sand you can cook and make glass. Yes, glass. I like glass. Glass. It looks cheesy in this game, but it's nice to have a transparent wall. Alright. Um, looks pretty clear to me. And who knows, maybe when I'm digging around, I'll... Oh, feather. That means a zombie was here. Maybe I'll run into that iron deposit. So I'm just collecting a bunch of stuff here. It's best to do this with a shovel because the shovels are way faster. Ah, you know what? I should have gotten an extra shovel. Oh! Whoa! Check it out! Check it out! More clay! This is like Clay City. Clay City. Cool. Wow, nice. Nice amount here. Is that more clay beneath? can't tell because there's this stupid water. Hang on, let me plug this up. More clay. You couldn't have asked for this much awesomeness. Alright, it doesn't look like I need a shovel for this, but it's certainly faster. Oh, I'm so happy I could ride a pig.